Hello everyone. Um, I noticed that Kate didn't really do a tutorial on how to install uh, Eclipse or a JDK or anything, so I'm going to do that today. So um, first of all, we're going to download Eclipse. No, first of all, we're going to download the JDK. So we'll go to Google, and then you should search for JDK. And you'll see this is the first link. Go on that, and you've got this. You'll want to download the newest one, which is. JU25, I'm going to do it as well because I don't think I've got the newest one, which is always helpful. Um, you should find the one that's relative to you, so just accept it and then download what's relative to you. So this is the 64 bit for Windows, so I'll get that one. Okay, now that's downloading. Um, we'll go and get Eclipse as well because Eclipse is needed. So look how fast that's downloading. Cool. Eclipse. I can't spell, but Google is helpful. So, go to the downloads page. Um, if you just want to get the normal Eclipse with no add ons or anything, just get Eclipse Standard. That's the normal one, pretty much. Uh, just get that. It will. I'll download it so you can see. It'll come in a zip file. So, all you have to do is drag it somewhere into your C drive extract it and then just run it and it'll be fine if you put a shortcut somewhere like here so we'll install this this might take a while but you know so yeah I'll come back when this is all installed and everything's downloaded and stuff okay welcome back uh, this is almost finished well it's finished now so uh, yeah I installed the JDK that's done so in this you'll have just the Eclipse folder that's the one, wait, hold on, let's just uh, make some space. Alright, so I'm just going to make a folder here. This should be in your program files if you want it to be, but we'll close it. Actually, you don't even need to do that. You know, it's just a waste of time. You can just drag that out and it'll do that. That might take a while depending on how fast your computer is. Uh, my hard drive isn't very fast, unfortunately, so it's doing okay. So once that's... Um, Extracted will go into uh, getting bucket because that's what the plugins are about. So, yeah, that's that. Okay, appears a bit laggy today for some reason. All right, so in there, you have all the stuff. This is the one you want to make a shortcut to. You can rename it in anything, it's just there. We're not going to be using that one because I've already got it installed. So, yeah, now you're going to want to go to dl.bucket.org. That's where you can get bucket. Um, I always download the actual craft bucket and bucket, but I think you can just get bucket on its own. Pretty sure. So you go into bucket, download the beta build if there's one available on this version. If not, you can just download the development one, it's not really a big deal. So once you downloaded that and put it in somewhere where you remember, I put mine in like um. It's C drive, and then there's a dev folder. I'm pretty sure Cake does that as well, so you're in luck there. All right, let's open this. This is Eclipse, if you didn't know. No one that came up. All right. So we'll just wait for it to load. And I'll show you how to make a new project with Bucket. Okay, so welcome back. Um, this is the Java workspace. That's just, yeah. But don't worry about those errors, I was just putting some plugins in. Right, so if we create a new project and we'll call it um uh, what should we call it? We'll just call it YouTube because I have no better name for it. Maybe not, let's call it something else because I've already got one of those. Um call it bananas because everyone loves bananas except me. Alright, so that's all good. Just make sure you've got FE one point seven. It's Java 7. Now you have your source folder and all that. Um, in libraries, you want to add an external jar, which is adding like a bucket, and this is it. This is the bucket we were going to download from here. I've got that already there. Let's finish. Okay. So now we've got our bananas project. Uh, first of all, we want to create a plugin.yml file. Come on, computer. Thank you. Uh, create a new file, plugin.yml. That's there. Uh, we'll just do it now. Name bananas. That's the name of the plugin which will display in uh, slash pl. 
version. That's the version of your plugin, so we just put 1.0. Main, this is going to be the main class of your plugin. We'll do that now. So, we need to make a new package. The package can be pretty much anything, but it's advised that you use uh, a domain name that you own or like your email address or something. So, if you're going to use an email address, you do calm.gmail. I don't know, banana man or something, but you know, I've got my own, so. There. That should be the plugin name. So, in your main now, it'll be me.iro or whatever you've got. me.iro.bananas.bananas. Bananas here, that's the main class, which we're going to make now. And there's the main class. So, this is correct now. Save it. Okay. So now we're in the bananas class. You should make this class extend Java plugin, which is the main plugin class for any bucket plugin. So we'll want to import that. There we go. So now I've got this class here. Uh, you'll notice that it's a bit bare from what Cake might have showed you. So uh, I'm just going to show you something now. You can press Control and Space. I'll bring up this little menu here, and you want to get unenable and undisable. There. You don't need to have anything inside these, that's just stuff. Okay, so. Um, instead of doing like a really long logger method, all you have to do now to log a message to the console when the plugin starts is get server dot get logger then dot info which will it'll just send it as info in the console so it'll be like um then the message here like that so this is the message that you want to that you're going to put in so we'll just say um uh bananas has been enabled if you want to get um just put the version number in that'll be pretty easy if you want to yeah, I, I, I can't remember how to do that because it's been a while since I did it that way. Um, but yeah, that's that's an option as well. Because you can get version name, the name. You can get loads of things just from the plugin that why That's pretty cool. Uh, get server dot. Oh god. Dot get logger. I'm really having a bad day today. Dot info. Bananas has been disabled. Right, so now that that's all set up, um, Cake always u uses a new package for his uh, commands and listeners and stuff. So what we're going to do, just to make it a bit easy to see, we're going to make a new method here, which will be a void to register, uh, sorry, <laughs> register all the commands and listeners. So we will call it set up plugin and we're going to put that in the unenable class here and you can use control space at any point to finish a method so here for example if we're going to do a listener we'll just make a new package called listeners here and we'll call this player listener I'll just make a quick thing first. So we'll have to make this implement a listener. And so that's the phone. Public void on join. This is going to be a player joining the server. Feel free to copy this down if you want, but you know you don't really need to at this moment. Control Shift O imports everything that you need to. It fixes the errors, if there is any. Well, it'll fix all import errors, it won't fix random errors, you know. So, alright, we don't even need to put anything in there at the moment, that's just a placeholder, so we can register it. So, to register listeners in another class, what you'll need to do is get server dot get plugin manager dot register events. Now, this is the class which, you ha which you're going to register, so we'll do new player listener 
sorry, and and this is what you're going to be registering it to. So we want to register it to the main plugin. Therefore, we're going to write this. Now I want to import this, and it's all fixed. So that's the basic structure of a plugin, I guess. Um, we'll do a command as well, just so you're not unsure about that. We can write dot commands there. Make a new plugin called banana com oh God. command, and this has to extend command and executor. It's got to implement. Sorry, implements. What have I done? Oh, command xc. Yeah, the colours went a bit weird then. And you've got to make an on command method just so it works. There we go. You can put your command here. Yep, the command just goes there. Control Shift O organizes the imports basically, and it just removes unneeded ones. So, that's the base structure of a plugin. You can register the command by typing get command. Uh, then you type the name of it that you want, like, uh, get command is like, slash command. That's what you can, that's in here. So we'll write banana. Then we have to set the executor of it. So we type set, sorry, space, dot set executor. Sorry about that. Um, let's do new banana command. Pretty sure. Please be right. Put an extra bracket somewhere, haven't I? Yep. Yep, that's it. So you just have to do a new banana command, and we'll just do, yeah. So that should all work. I don't see why it shouldn't. Uh, one last thing to make it work, you'll have to make something in your plugin.yml called commands. Two spaces in, banana, stays two more spaces in. Right. Um, it's these these spacings are really important. Then you can set aliases for the command. So we can have banana one, banana two. That means like instead of just typing slash banana, you can type slash banana one, slash banana two, etc., etc. So that's basically that. We'll save it now. And yeah, that's the basic structure of a plugin. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. If you want any more tutorials, I'll probably be able to do them. As you can tell, I'm not good at explaining things, so I'll I'll work on that. Just put your one in the comments, and I'll work on it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you next time.